Hi, it's Sam the All Man, and I'm on my quest to fight every single different monster that I can find today. And the first one I found is this one here, which looks like it is a bunyip. I was right. And it's a relatively uh, easy one. This is one of the easier monsters you can find. And I found it outside the Royal Chulan, the Royal Chulan Hotel. So let's fight that. But quick, first I need to quickly look at the bottom and see my spell so that I can remember the glyph because I don't have my cheat sheet with me today. All right, I think I've got that. I'm gonna try, let's see, fight, fight. There we go. And this is the one I was trying to remember. Yep, that one. Uh, because it has a effect that happens every turn. If we quickly look at it, Poison Cloud deals 20 damage plus 10 per cycle. Each cycle, I believe, is a turn. Oh, I only got two in. I should have used a health as well. Uh, so, but because it's a cycling effect, I wanted to use it uh, at the very start to get the absolute most out of it. And we'll use my magic arrow as well. So the bunny did a decent amount of damage, whilst my poison cloud didn't. But this time it should all pay off, as long as I don't die. I, I'm pretty sure I'm safe though. Yep. Yep, look at that. That worked. That worked fantastic. And then uh, one more uh, an arrow should have him, and then let's just heal, just in case. Oh, only got two spells in. Here we go, and let's skip that. Oh, didn't quite get him. Wow. All right, let's do another arrow, and I mean that'll that'll finish him off. That's that's it. As long as he doesn't kill me. Yeah, there we go. I won, and I got some loot too. We'll have to, you can't see what it is here. You have to go into your inventory to see it. But uh, there's the first monster down, the Bunyip. If you're starting out, he's one of the easier monsters. So uh, that's one monster down. Now to find another. Well, I'm not supposed to film with this camera uh, and the microphone in this park, but this little outcrop on the edge of the park hopefully will be quick enough to catch this cockatrice. Cockatrice are aggressive, and I'll have to fight it one-handed, so let's... Oh, whoops, I fleed. Let's fight it uh, and see how this fight goes. Fight. I'll use the same strategy as last time. Use that one. Oh, it's a full circle. Oh, one-handed is a lot harder. Oh. Uh-oh. I didn't even get one in. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, note to self. Yeah, one-handed is very hard. Oops, that's the wrong way. Ah. Uh, let's do quick. Oh, no. This cockatrice is going to completely destroy me. Let's just do some massive damage, skip all that. That one should be easy enough one-handed. And can I get a magic arrow in? Yes. Those two are pretty easy one-handed. I'll have to remember this. This is not a game to be played one-handed. And as long as I don't overburn, that should take care of him. Yep, and another magic arrow. I think I can get the cockatrice. Again, this is another good starter monster if you're just starting out. Yeah, I won't kill him this round. Oh, two health left. <laughs> oh, well. All right, and then can I get a magic arrow in one-handed? Nope, that's gonna, nope. That one? Oh, good, just in time. And now he's dead. All right, no more one-handed play for me. <laughs> but there's fighting a cockatrice, and we got some loot as well, a nice ring. All right, time to find another monster. Uh, I'll find something a bit harder now. So if you're past the beginner's level and the bunny ups and the cockatrice want something more difficult, we'll find something for you. So we're gonna fight a new monster now. And it's pretty noisy, so I've actually recorded a lot of these monster fights, uh, else, like just on the screen when there was nowhere to record or it didn't really work. Oh no, I can't even fight him. And that's why I'm recording it on the screen only, and I'm gonna talk to it later. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go get closer. So I just finished fighting uh, Magus Monster here, and uh, this is why 
this game is not super uh, YouTube friendly because look where I am. I mean, it's nice. Well, it's not. I'm like basically in a uh, back street and there's just buildings all around me. The scenery is not that great, really. I mean, awesome that I walked back here and fought the monster, but do you really want to see that as the scenery for the videos? Uh, I'm still figuring out how to make Magus videos, so let me know in the comments what you like and what you don't. Sorry about the background noise, there's construction going on and nothing I could do about it. Hopefully it's not too bad in the background. But now we have a Howler Wolf, a small aggressive wolf known for its penchant for howling. I've, obviously I've uh, sped up the fighting itself and it's not real time, this is what I recorded the other day. Uh, just to make sure that this video doesn't go too long because it was like some of these fights went on for like a few minutes This would be like half hour plus video if I didn't speed it up uh, So we've nearly got the Hallow Wolf. I can normally defeat a Hallow Wolf The next monster we have here is a Kitsune Kitsunes are known for their mean sense of humor and mischievous behavior and it still needs a description Remember this is still the alpha game. I'm sure that'll get fixed up later. Now this one was interesting because look at its health, 298, but I've seen some kitsunes that have less health and that I've been able to defeat, so uh, I'm not sure how the health on the monsters works, whether it's fixed per monster or not. Next one, the Stone Demon. Uh, this one, Stone Demons, are known for their mean sense of humour and mischievous behaviour, needs description. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Uh, this is. I stay away from this one if I can. Look at it, 398. I don't think I've ever actually defeated a stone monster yet. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend going after this when you're new. Go after something else. Yeah. And I didn't do too badly actually. I came up with a new strategy here. Um, I'll talk about that soon. But the next one is the gremlin. Gremlins are known for the mean sense of humor and mischievous behavior. Oh, sounds familiar again. But here, they are short in stature, but big in ego. However, they are all talk and no walk. Show them if you are not afraid, and watch how they disappear. And I'm making this one disappear by uh, beating it in battle. One. This one here, an imp. Now this is interesting because this imp is the wrong imp image. I'm not sure if it's another, maybe it's a pixie? Uh, but I couldn't find it. Here's the updated imp image. Again, a little bug from the um, alpha game. And imps are known for their mean sense of humor, mischievous behavior, yet again. <laughs> I'm sure uh, in an update, eventually, they'll uh, change these descriptions. And then I can do this again. Uh, and here, I can... Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I beat this imp, so that was good. And this is the last monster here. The uh, Willow O Wisp, I believe it is. And um, yes, Willow O Wisp. Willow O Wisp is fast, smart, and powerful. Try to keep a distance from it. Yeah, so fighting all these monsters, I came up with a new strategy to manage my overburn. And I'm gonna do another video just on that. And I'll do live fighting uh, for that. And I'll bring the tripod that I'm using now to make these videos. So that's my solution. I'll do that next time. 